Hi guys, it's Nina from VR Focus and today is going to be a little video about Astro Reality. So I have with me right here the solar system, 3D printed model solar system. I've got an augmented reality notebook and all I need right now is a phone that can do augmented reality. The first thing that you'll need is the Astro Reality app. I have an iPhone 5 SE so I can download the app. This is also available for Android as well. What I've got here is a notebook that is called the Lunar, a notebook with augmented reality. Watch the vivid three-dimensional astronomical spectacle on paper. And this is the magic. This is where the magic happens. We have the notepad. It's gonna open it up. That is what you see. Our Again, Whew, the app is just not working. Seeing as that is not working, we are going to try something else. So this is the Astro Reality Solar System mini set. We've got Mercury, Earth, Saturn, Mars, Pluto, Venus, Jupiter, Neptune, Uranus. These are nine different planets that you can get and this is great for um, teaching your children a little bit about the solar system. It's going to take Saturn um, out. This is Saturn. And you can kind of see that it's created a virtual mesh around Saturn. So I'm just going to press go. It says saved. And there we have it, we've got Saturn. And now I'm gonna move the model around and you can, oh. See, this is why it's so dangerous. You can see there in the distance here, you can see the other, some other constellations, some other planets in the distance. All right, anyways, okay, so that was Saturn. Very interesting. Take my phone, uh, wait for the phone to scan Venus. I'm gonna press next. Yeah, it seemed to catch the model, so go. Saved, okay. Now we've got Venus floating around. So there, there we have the model planet. So see what's quite interesting is that that's a, that here is the sun. So Venus has essentially positioned itself and it tells you it tells you some interesting information about the planet as well at the very bottom 243 earth days now when you when you've got this you've got the little booklet that kind of comes with it as well it's gonna have a little read i want to know if it says anything about the planet but it does kind of give you instructions turn on the app choose this symbol Scan the QR code as shown at the last page. Place Venus Mini on AR marker. Here you can see we recommend starting the AR experience from the below shown area. Best distance is about 20 centimeters. And then the rest is all in different languages. Let's try one I don't have, which would be Earth. So there's our planet, our beautiful, beautiful little planet. I'm gonna click it. Earth Mini. All right, I'm not gonna click it. I'm just gonna get rid of it and try it again. Earth Mini. Ah, here we go. 20 centimeters away from the virtual from the real object, and I'm gonna click next. Use the arrows and zoom slider to adjust your virtual mode frame. So I'm gonna try and see. Oh look, see, so I put it. I've done a plus, and so it's 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 made my Earth bigger. So I'm gonna press go next. Saved. There we have it. There we've got Earth. Planet Earth on my on my little phone. So I'm just gonna move Earth around slightly. Doesn't 100% seem, seem to work. It's probably because I said I wanted it to be bigger. I'm gonna make it back to normal because I 
think that made it weird. I'll check to see if it makes any difference. But yeah, I suppose. Strange how the clouds stay the same. You do notice, you see the little ridges. We can see a dash of white. I wonder if that's an actual physical thing. And here, press next here. Go. Boom, saved. And there in the distance here, you can see there are some moons, I suppose, there on that side. So virtually and digitally, we are looking at the same angle. And it's a bit, it's a bit wonky the tracking for this planet. I'm just gonna scan all of them. So that's quite a few. So these are the ones that we haven't done yet. So we're gonna see if there's any little secrets. Oh, my phone, it is boiling, boiling hot. Okay, so uh, in total, that um, AR notebook didn't really seem to work, which I apologize for. I keep getting an error message when I try to download it, don't know why. I would like to potentially have more information when I load the app about the planet, where the other planets are situated, the actual size of the planets in comparison to each other would be kind of cool. I understand why they are all the same size for the app. When I was interviewing the company back at CES, you know, they talked about potentially doing this with biology, molecular things, and I think when it comes to 3D printing and augmented reality and there's a new and interesting way for students to interact with a topic or a subject, I think that really should be applauded and should be tried out more. I personally would like to have more information. I like the planet to be a little bit more sturdy. See, I, I think this, the part that it falls out, ooh, <laughs> the part, the, the fact that it can fall out, so easily. I think I dropped Jupiter and there was a little scratch on it, which isn't great. I think it would be nice to have a sturdier, steadier way of keeping the planet in place. 
that distance between your phone and the object I think is a little bit tricky. But yeah, so tell me what you think. Tell me what you think of augmented reality and 3D printed objects for educational purposes or just for hobbyists. What do you think about it? Would you like this for, uh, I don't know, biology, for physics, for things that you physically can explain? How would you implement this in your classroom if you are a teacher? Would love to hear your thoughts please put them in the comment section below or tweet us at VRFocus and I would be happy to do a little follow-up video about that.